Luckily, Philippe de Vista. So the first problem uses the unit circle. So first of all, we need the unit circle. Who's good at the unit circle? The unit circle. Go well, for no, it. No, 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 she was already getting ready. No, we should, uh, no, don't copy it off the piece of paper. That's not going to serve a purpose. We can give the students a piece of paper. I mean, I drew they, it for they actually, yeah. Yeah. Because what we were talking about this morning, there are instructors that insist that students memorize that entire circle. That was one of the ones that was there. And they were tested on it. So that you need to be familiar with this. No, no, no. I want, you, I want the whole circle. It's a good circle. Yeah. Uh, I was perhaps they can the monitor to the dog. Oh, yeah. Oh, is that that one? Is it as bad? It's as bad. I have a good one. So there's two in red. I have a good one. No, she has one. Yes, it's a That is really a very um, time-consuming thing. If students have to put their four circles on at the beginning of the test, it's five yeah. minutes gone, right? Yeah. Well, because they don't just sketch it, they really want it precise, I've noticed. does take too long and it's really easy to make a mistake. She puts the angles on there, which isn't a bad idea to put the angles on there. Actually the circle itself I don't think puts the angles on. But Five, 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 six. Five, five, six. Yeah. Okay, so I land, but else we really need a science course? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, 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 not like that. No, 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 Coordinates at that point. No, 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 no. Coordinates are cosine oh, like that. of the yeah. angle oh, and sine. Okay. So, so uh, here it would be like this. Yeah. One half. Yeah. And then the next one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Just do the first, the first um, side. You know, you guys can then do the rest, right? I cannot write this. I, I just do the spokes. I cannot do the circle. Okay, that's fine. Just for that. So now, secant pi over 3, how would you do that? So we assume the whole circle is there, right? Just they just that. spent 20 minutes of their test time creating that circle. <laughs> Clearly, I don't like it. So, where is, so here, why is it a half? And not square root of 3 over 2? Because this is the cosine, this is the sum. Okay. A lot of students do it wrong. Because sine comes before cosine, so therefore sine should come first. You know, when you, when you say the, yeah. the trig function, you say sine cosine. Oh, right? Yeah, no, no. Okay. Uh, Make it simple. Compute. Yes, that's my thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is my angle. Cosine theta, sine theta, computer science. 
and everything with the trig functions is C and S. Why? Sine, it's reciprocal as cosecant. Cosine is reciprocal as, so it's C and S. If you can get that into their heads, it's an easy Except way. Except for tangent. But tangent at that. Okay. I say one has scope, one doesn't have scope. Okay. So, but then it works for tangent too, because tangent doesn't have an S. Okay, so negative 3 pi. That's not oh, on the circle, right? I would just follow the circle. Negative 1 pi, negative 2 pi, negative 3 pi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's how people who use that circle do it. Do you know? I I only I, I huh? I mean, yeah, but I don't use that circle because well you'll see next time what I do because I don't like this. This is too much to remember. My yeah, brain is not. No, I'm not. I want. But what I do for what? These are the points, and I, yeah. depends on the students. Initially, when I'm teaching it, I will do this. This is zero, this is pi over two, this is exactly what you do. But I only do it with this. I only use the unit circle for angles whose terminal sides are on one of the axes. So if it's seven pi over two, I'm real good. 1 pi over 2, 2 pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, 4 pi over 2, 5 pi over 2, 6 pi over 2, 7 pi over 2. There's a cosine and sine of 7 pi over 2. And I count with them. Because they, which is what she did by going halfway with pi. And I would do it with, I don't know how else they do it with that big circle. The problem is with the big circle is that there's so much on there that you might not see, you know, it, you lose it. With that little circle, it's well, it happens to you. So 3 pi over 4. Here, I know that the sine and the cosine, the absolute value is the same. And I know that the sine is going to be negative. Because they, yeah, because they, they will have this there. Yeah. They'll have it. They will have, have this there. Yeah. So you yeah. oh, yeah. But it's yeah. cotangent, but how do you do the cotangent? So the cosine here is negative, so it's going to be minus you go that, to, yeah. divided by that. Are uh, you going way too fast? So it's just going to be like one or something. You went, you went a little bit too fast there. What did she miss? I mean, she said it, but you didn't. You did it, but you didn't That's really. Cosine over sine? Yeah. Okay. Write that yeah. down. No, because it's. Or at least ask the student. Mm -hmm. And, you know, because for them, you yeah. never know. For us, yes. But no, that's important because they, I have calc ones that don't know that cotangent is cosine over sine in any case. So that's important because everything's basically in terms of sine and cosine. Yeah, what you wrote before, I have a problem with. I don't understand this. I can figure it out. But that's not how we usually write things, okay? okay. Just, but it's actually correct. It's the I know it's correct. But it's not American correct. Yes, yes. You mean she didn't put the line in between? She wrote this. What's wrong with that? <laughs> to me, I use that for ratios. But oh, okay. the, for so students, the, the ratio is going this way. Oh, they're not going to. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's that? No, that's the American way for division. Oh, this is the same as that with the two? Yeah. Yes, it's the oh, oh, division. It's the division. It's the division. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Right. Because I, you, when the fractions okay. are so long and big and people get confused with big fractions. Okay. So. Yeah. But, coming out of pre-calc, one of the things they need to do is be able to work with complex fractions. Mm -hmm. Because you hit them a lot in calc. And the first thing that you should do mm -hmm. is uncomplex it. I know that's not an English word. My classes have both adopted it. It's part of their vocabulary. Um, and this, this is a simple form where you have to uncomplex it because they get nastier ones in the count. So it's not bad for them to see complex fractions along the way and get used to handling them. Mm -hmm. Okay, anybody who also in trig identity? Volunteer the table and how to make the table quickly. Oh, I got to volunteer. Ah, yeah, because you heard it, right? Huh? 
Whichever one you want. There are two. Remember we did the two? Let's see what you remember. Because she was there this morning. Yeah, but she heard it, her. she heard it this, this morning because... Uh, oh. <laughs> because somebody brought it from last night's tutor training to a student who was using the cheat sheet on the tray. And that cheat sheet has that full circle. And yeah, it's okay. I'm not a fan of it. I don't think it helps with certain things. But there's also, they need to know it because when they move into Calc 1, they may be in a class where they're not allowed to use a calculator. And they're going to have to use, be able to figure these things out. The other thing, and it'll come up here, is when solving trig equations, the concept of a reference angle is super important. So that you don't quite get it there. Yeah. You don't quite get it there. But the idea of a reference angle needs to be gotten. And I think students need to be aware that what the way in which their instructor is going to do it is going to vary from individual to individual. Oh, good. She's got it. So now you she's counting. You're setting up the table. So how do you explain to students an easy way to remember? Okay. Um, so this is sine, cosine, tangent. We go in that order. Um, then you start with the the angles, the denominator with the biggest number first, so that would be 6, then you go to 4 and 3, yeah. all under pi. Um, then you start with counting, <laughs> so sine 1, next one is 2, next one is 3. Um, then, I'm trying to remember the way you did it. But um, you, okay, so you add a radical to each one, so the radical of 1 is just 1, and you have radical 2, radical 3, and then everything's all over 2. Why 2? I, I, I know that, that's that. because you, you assume they know the sign and cosine like that. It's just a way to remember it. Yeah. Yeah, they, they don't have, what I'm saying is you have explained how do you go okay. to that. Yeah. Kind of this is not a, this is not a, yeah. fresh. You already have in other words, yeah. really different you go remember. with the right triangles with 245 degree angles, okay. that's how you get. Okay. And you show this is an easy way to keep track of it. And then the cosine? So the cosine is, you count backwards, so it's the opposite. So it's 3, 2, 1, radicals on everything, 1 is just 1, all over 2 again. And then tangent you can calculate by doing sine over cosine, which will give you tangent. So in that case, you would draw the, the way she wrote it out. It, which um, would be the 1 over 2 times the cancel, so then the actual answer. Good uses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then don't cancel. Do the Middle. same thing. Yeah. I'm going to fix one thing. Put your one in. The next one is an easy one. It's a one. It's a one. Just put okay. the one. Okay. Add the one. Put the one. Just yeah. anything over itself. Okay. You don't have to write at all because this is that. This he shouldn't have to write out. I don't okay. know how he was doing it, the fellow that we were working with. But if you put this over this, it's complex. They both have a 2, multiply top and bottom by 2, 1 over radical 3, mission accomplished. And if you have those three, you have everything. And by writing it that way rather than the other way, you actually have the division sign right here. So you yeah. see this over this. Okay. If you write your column the other way, but you see the angles that you don't see that. Yeah, it's one over radical three, which yeah. is radical three over three. Oh, okay. To be honest with you, now here you got to deal with the instructor, whatever their will is. Yeah. When in my class, if I had to find um, the secant of pi over 6, and they told me it was 2 over radical 3, I'm more than happy. They don't have to rationalize the denominator. Right here, I'm just as happy with this. I really don't care. I know that in intermediate, they're told no radicals in the denominator. In pre-calc, I don't care, to be honest with you. Yeah, sir, there must be utility there normally. Uh, it's like, okay, yeah, 
this is fine for me. I think the answers in the back of the book are written without a radical in the denominator. But think about it this way. When you're in basic math, what do you do? You're told you have to write this most of the time. In algebra, when's the last time you wrote this? Or this? Right? You write improper fractions. The notation sort of dictates things. So that what we do in one course, you go to the next course, uh-uh, you don't necessarily do the same thing. So that here, I'm happy. Calculus, I love radicals in the denominator. It's easier to work with. Oh. Take the derivative usually. You don't want to rationalize before you take the derivative, right? Versus. When you start to talk about where is this undefined and when is this zero, it's a lot easier to do here than it is to do over here. So the radical in the denominator is much better in calculus. Don't explain that to a kid in intermediate. Because <laughs> they're supposed to rationalize, multiply by the conjugate, whatever it is. So it's really, you know, a matter of where they're at. No, um, this table, um, this is the basic table, which I personally set up when I worked with Vyans, and I, I start with Vyans, so I don't have a book for that. Yeah. Now, you can expand this to further. If you don't, Dr. Feigenbaum always has a circle for I like the unit circle. one. But this is actually, if I expand this, and I'll squeeze the zero here and the pi over two, this still works because zero over two is zero, mm -hmm. and the square root of four two over two, over two yeah. is one. So the whole thing works, and this backwards, and then you can do the rest. I then, because I don't use the circle, I can't draw circles for the life of me. I'll, I also put then pi and three pi over two here. So in other words, I kind of put this on my table. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't. Put this on there because that is reference angles, and you have to figure out what the sign is. Mm. But sign is IGN. Um, but again, see what the student comes with, okay? Yeah. Now, some, as we discussed before, some students will come with the whole table from zero to three sixty. That's that's you know. That's and not only that, it's two shades. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. I think the shades are such that. If it's shaded, it's where the inverse trig functions are defined, or if it's not shaded, one of the two. You better remember correctly. Uh, so, yeah? I have a question. If a student can, um, my understanding is the person never even went over the unit circle, but, so they, they have no concept that sine and cosine are coordinates. They have no understanding. But should, should I take no. the sign to explain it? Um, um, no, because they, they're they, just memorizing the table and they have no um, understanding of the circle. That's a very hard one to say. If I would say, be happy if they understand what they gave for you, with, with you, no, in the one, and the back walking. Oh, wait, Just, but I don't think they're doing the tree gentle. They are doing the tree gentle. Some of them have a chance. I know what you're asking. Go with what the student wants. Some of these students are very happy. Mm -hmm. You tell me the answer. I don't care how, where, why, or what. Others need to understand. And if the student needs to understand, then go with it. Because I mean, I'm seeing things now with the calc. I have certain expectations when they do a max-min problem. Not everybody does the domain and makes them justify that it's a max or a min. So that you're going to find different things. I disagree completely with that philosophy. Zip it. Oops. <laughs> uh, okay, so, yeah, obviously, what was the question? I don't think you have to go... How no... Yeah, by a random by over four, four is, is fine, right? So anybody willing to explain how you use this to do cosine 5 pi over 6? Because that's not on my table, whichever version you look at, unless you have the whole table. 
Is anybody willing to do that, explain to students how you get? Okay, mm -hmm. Akuna, that's it. They'll take it away. I pass it to her. <laughs> do you know that for time? Five over six. Yeah, okay. But so, how do you know it? Go okay. up there. Yeah. Because there's different ways. And again, what you do and the way you handle it is going to be student dependent. I would go either to this or no, to no, this. No, sir. Oh. no, sir. No, sir. No, sir. That's how I would do it. And I would say uh, five over six. No, 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 no. The same reflective. Okay, that's you know, so a sign is, I mean, for me, oh, it's a, I'm sorry. I no, no, no. You're right, you're right, but, you're right, but and then this is the but. If they're not working off the circle, draw your angle, pi over, five pi over six. You can do it with the, do it with the circle. No, I just draw it without the circle. Draw your angle, five pi over six. Yeah. All right. Arrow, where's the angle? Um, right. Right. Okay, that's the angle 5 pi over 6. By definition, the reference angle is mm -hmm. pi over 6, the rest of the way, the shortest distance from the terminal side to the x-axis. Mm -hmm. So, there we go. The way in which things are done, we someplace, somewhere, the instructor should have done what you were about to do. Say that the points here are pi over 6, reference angle and points here are pi over 6, here, the coordinates are the same except for signs, yes. plus and minus. Mm -hmm. So that when a student is computing, what word is it? Cosine? Cosine. 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 Yes. They're really computing the cosine of the reference angle. So and, and attaching the appropriate SIGN. Like I always, I, I mean, I know you always told So it would be so it is negative one. Negative one. Yes. And then <laughs> so it would go do it in your mind. The and I'll show you why. Okay, so three over two over three. Okay, so and the sign is yes, yeah, it's a negative. She oh, put the saying. sign next to the. Oh, okay. Do you know how to keep how to keep the quadrant, you know, the sign of the sine and cosine straight? Oh, oh so that's a count? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't say that. I did something else. I won't say I think it. most of us say oh, that. Well, change it. Change it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oddly enough, that acronym they remember. And it's just the three. All three. What are you looking at? All three are positive. Oh, no. oh. Sine is positive. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. That's just that's 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 three. Yeah. Yeah. It's an acronym. And that one they do keep with them. I haven't heard that. It's like foil they keep with them. Okay. They don't always know what it means, but they keep it with okay, them. Yeah, they have to All right. Them. One of the reasons, Akuna, mm -hmm. why you want radians, okay? Um, I feel like I see very in degrees that in radians. I always try to convert first to see where it is okay. in, the angle, in the circle. Then I find out what Where's 14 is. pi over 3 radians? You think I'm converting that to degrees? I do. That's a lot of arithmetic. Here, changes to a mixed number. It's four and two thirds. One pi, two pi, three pi, four pi. Now I have to go two thirds of a pi, puts me here. I have another value for that. I mean, I don't know, I just figured this out. Good. Maybe it might work, it might not, but. 14, so pick a number that is like a multiple of 3 near to 14. So that would be, I would say, 15. Okay. So that is 3 multiplied by 5. Minus so I would say that, okay, 5, 5, mm -hmm. minus 5 over 3. Mm -hmm. Because 14 is five, 15 minus 1. Mm -hmm. okay. You are assuming that the student knows it. Remember it. Yes, <laughs> It works. I mean, you're, no. you're absolutely right, and it's a good method. I mean, if you're in the algorithm, it uses reference. It uses reference. This might work for you. Yeah. 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 It uses reference. Yeah. Yeah. No, it, it, you, you've got to figure out what works for the student. The problem is they're fractions. They're going to go revolt because there's fractions. But yeah, the fractions just, aren't I mean, so bad. Because okay, I'll show you something later on. One, one thing here. 
Yeah. So just distribute mm -hmm. 15 by. No, no, it's it's very good. I you know it's yeah. basically. No, it and I think it works for most all of them. Let me ask you this: How you would do it with a student? Let's suppose they want you want to find out where the cosine is negative one half. Now, I always tell them that's quadrant three or quadrant two. There's my angle, but. I drop the sine, the one half, cosine's a half at pi over three, so my reference angle is pi over three. Uh, yeah, reference, pi over three. Now, how do you find the angle? I would say that, okay, this angle is, this is pi, so this angle is like more than pi, so I would say that pi mm -hmm. plus pi over three. But on this side, it is pi, and go back. But it's like, yeah, we're going back, so we'll just do pi minus yeah. pi over 3. But can I have something with this, though? Why are you using 15 and not 12? Less, what if I want to use okay, 12? So 12 would be why always have to 12 plus 2 plus 2 yeah. pi over 3. So it would be 4 pi plus 2 pi over 3. Then you need to convert this 2 pi over 3 into P minus one. You don't have to, because most students will know where 2 pi minus is. Okay. I have the impression that most students know the first quadrant, they don't know. Yeah. First quadrant. The first the pi the the pi pi over now, some of them get confused that a whole pi is here. A whole pi should be complete revolution. Yeah, because of That's that. the key. Because here, if they know this is a whole pi, and yeah, this is a third of a pi, <laughs> And I, the word pie in my mind is now pizza pie. If this is a third, then this must be two thirds. I, I try to use some common sense. And over here, if this is a whole pie and this is a third, I have one and a third pies, which becomes four pi over three. I try to use the word pie. You keep saying pie. But I keep thinking of it as P I E. Yeah. And that, so that maybe they'll get some sense with the fractions there. Because they do understand, more or less, that, you know, when they slice up the pizza pie into eight parts, that they're each getting an eighth, I would hope, by the time they hit pre calc. I'm not always sure. But something to help them to get things straight with this. Because the pi is yeah. two pi. Yeah, that's yeah. So yeah, but it's two. It's but that you do with labeling. It's, yeah. I'll let you know because my class is an interesting yeah. one this semester. The, this the, the fraction method also helps when they just ask to graph. I'm just yeah. every pi over seven. That's not one of the basic ones, right? So where is it? And converting that, it's the, like ridiculous. But again, it's one and four. Like I'm saying it. Uh, yeah, one really and four and four sevens is a little bit more than a half. So you can, you know, yeah, if you do. I like, I think that I like the, so if you do eleven pi, you try to seven, work to sure. off their common sense. Mm -hmm. So you sometimes can, you begin to wonder where is it, and I try to use that whatever is common sense for them. It may not be your common. Also, make sure you put arrows when you do angles, okay, because the terminal side alone yeah. does, you know, how many angles does that get you? Quite a bit. Yeah. So you put the arrow so that, you know, that the student know. Also, then they get into the habit. Learn them, good habits. Now, uh, yeah, what was oh, the if we're right. talking about good habits, habits, insist that they're neat and organized on paper. Or their instructor will not read their work on a test. <laughs> uh, so the this is getting near what I don't want to say. <laughs> so now the, the triangle. Triangle. Anybody knows the triangle method? Bavia, anybody else? <coughs> okay. Yeah. I don't think anybody on our our um, uh, sport place is going to use One it. thing is that um, good habits never write this. It's X, theta, I don't care what letter, but otherwise it's sign. A lot of students, when they're doing the 
chain rule, they mistake them. Yeah. So oh. it's a sign of x, right? It's not sign x, it's the sign of x. That's also most of the Yeah. Dr. Frankenbaum is doing the product tour. <laughs> You lay it. We've seen it more than we'd like. I have seen it. It's the problem, but that's because it, it's a couple of reasons. They don't understand that these two are attached together. That sign is a function, and part of the.